Vue.js is progressive JavaScript framework for building user interfaces. It is simple, lightweight, flexible, and very performant while still providing a lot of features and option tools that can help us build a modern web application efficiently. In this section, we will meet the library, and after a brief interaction, we will start creating our first Vue.js application. Vue.js focus on a view layer. Its core library focuses mainly on the view layer of the application, and it also perfectly capable to build single-page application, or SPA. Vue.js is progressive JavaScript framework. That means Vue.js is designed from the ground up to be incrementally adoptable, with a core library focused on user interfaces that you can use in existing projects to make your application more interactive. You can make from the small app all the way up to the large and sophisticated web applications. Vue.js is a relative newcomer in the JavaScript front-end landscape, but now it's very popular JavaScript front-end framework and widely used across the world for web development. Why Vue.js? Getting up and running with Vue.js is quite simple. You don't need to use a module bundler like Webpack because the core library doesn't have any dependency. Just include the Vue.js core library from CDN into your page and you're ready to get started. If you know HTML and JavaScript reasonably well, you'll find that Vue.js has low learning curve. It shouldn't take you long at all. The view documentation is so detailed, easy to understand, and includes various code examples. Alright, that's a brief introduction about Vue.js. Let's finally start and build our first Vue.js application. Firstly, let's open the Vue.js official homepage, vue.js.org, and here we can hit this Get Started button, and this will take us to Vue.js guide. Here, let's navigate to Installation menu. And then here, we'll got a couple of different options how to install Vue.js. For now, let's use the simplest one, which is using CDN. Here, you can grab this script. Or you can also copy the latest version of Vue.js URL from just deliver CDN. Here you can also copy the URL from Unpackage or CDN.js. Here I also open online editor called JSFiddle. You can access it in jsfiddle.net. So this editor is web editor where you can play around with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. And we can also see the output in one page. Here in HTML section, I just type script colon src, then hit tab, paste the URL, and remove the forward slash in the end. And with that, we include the Vue.js, and we can now use it and build our first Vue.js application. Here let's add a div, and give it the attribute app or whatever name you like. And then here, in JavaScript section, we need to instantiate a new view instance. We can do that by saying new view. This instance has one major job, control the HTML code, which then render to the screen. Now, in order to let the view instance do that, we have to pass in an options object as an argument. This object is central in view and defines and controls data and behavior. It contains all the information needed to create the view instance and components. For now, let's specify L property, which accepts a selector or an element as an argument. Here we can say hashtag app, which will return the element in the page with app as the identifier. With that, everything that we will write inside the div with the ID as app will be under controlled by this view instance. And with under control, I mean, we can then change it or manipulate it through this view instance. So here in this div, let's add a heading one. 
And then here, let's make JavaScript expression and output the result to the heading. Here, VGS has special syntax to output something. Double curly braces, opening and closing, and in between, I'll write hello plus world. This is a normal way to declare a little string in JavaScript. Here we just concatenate two strings and display the result. So if we hit the run button, here in the output we'll have hello world message. Now Vue.js also has special property called data which accepts object. Here we store all data that we want to use in this view instance. Here I'll define message and I'll cut this message and paste in this message property. Now here I can call the message like this. Here we only need to call a message and Vue.js will look into this data object, find the message property and parse it in HTML code. If we now hit the run button, we'll get the same thing. Now if I change the message to hello Vue.js and then hit the run button again, You can see it reflect the change there. Alright, we've completed our first step into Vue.js world and are now able to build a simple Vue.js application. In the next lesson, I'm going to show you how to set up Vue.js locally.